am honored indeed to participate and to be on record that I have supported this bill because this is what we have been waiting for, Madam Speaker. I am a member of many cooperatives in my society, in my community, in my constituency, because obviously uh, you know that uh, Gidungori is one of the biggest producers of milk in the Republic of Kenya. Actually, we are the people who, who, are, who manage the largest milk cooperative society in Kenya and largely in East Africa. Madam Speaker, if there is anything that has made most of the producer activities in agriculture retrogress is the mismanagement of producer cooperatives and the death of the sector in that matter. Madam Speaker, there are many cooperatives that owned even many buildings in Nairobi after having um, uh, made profits in the past. When I was growing up, farmers from Muranga owned the whole of Kirinyaga Road. Farmers from Kiambu were lending other countries money. I remember the Kiambu municipality used to lend Tanzania money, money that came from producer cooperatives. But something happened along the way, Madam Speaker. People who retired from civil servants People who are fired for misconduct in government went down to those producer cooperatives and bribed their way into the management of cooperative societies. And they laudered and stole the money that were meant to grow the, sources, the cooperative societies and put those cooperative societies to death. As you speak, Madam Speaker, we had very large cooperative society that owned Imenti House, for example, and many other houses you see down at River Road, near Kikorok Road. And those cooperative societies today, Madam Speaker, they are indebted. They are supposed to be selling off those assets to cover running costs. I am very excited, Madam Speaker, that finally this bill is bringing back the vibrant spirit of cooperative. The successes that we read in our history, Madam Speaker, I am particularly very happy with part 10 of this bill that is going to restrict and limit the borrowing power of people who are going to be entrusted in running the producer cooperatives. In the past, Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, there are people who went ahead, borrowed money on behalf of producer cooperatives, and enlisted the assets of such cooperatives and ran away with the loot only to leave our farmers and our producers desperate and hopeless. I am excited, Madam Speaker, that the accountability and restrictions of loans and investments that are going to be handled by producer cooperatives are going to be limited, and the power to borrow, the power to invest, must be accounted for by the cooperative commissioners. Madam Speaker, as I sit down, I am happy that part 11 of this bill it has given out a very good way of how cooperative societies are going to amalgamate. In the past, Mr. Speaker, we have had cooperatives deciding on how they are going to divide the cooperative and bring up another fresh cooperative without the blessings of the majority of the owners and shareholders of cooperatives. I am happy that finally the spirit of cooperative is going to come back. We need to give our farmers the benefit that it is time for them to go back to their farms, produce as much because there is a new law that is going to protect their sweat and their energy. I am supporting this bill. I can't wait to see it pass. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Wamushomba. Now let's go to the next order. Hmm? Sorry, I forgot. Where is the mover? <laughs>